Oh, how do you like that new ringtone? Speaking of tones, this is lesson seven of Chinese with Mike, live from my garage. We are going to get into a lesson on tones after this. Welcome back to Lesson 7 of Chinese with Mike, live from my garage. This is Chinese with Mike. We are coming at you live with tones today. Tones in Chinese will give you the specific word that the sounds are associated with. So instead of just saying ma, 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 if I say ma or ma or ma or ma, then I know exactly what I want to say, which word. No confusion. So. Tones, the word in Chinese is sheng, shi, ung, sheng, but I wouldn't say four shengs. There is no plural uh, in Chinese. Uh, I, there are certain ways that you can uh, exp sp specify about how many uh, of something you're talking about, but just sheng, so four tones, four sheng. Okay, the first tone. Let's practice with our old example. Ma, your voice is high and steady. Just a straight line. Ma, ma. The second tone, your voice is rising. You want to lift your eyebrows like you're very surprised about something. Ma, ma. So again, rising. The third tone, you fall a bit and then you rise back up. Ma, ma, ma. And the fourth tone, you can't really get this one wrong as long as you just yell out a word sharply. Ma! 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 Alright? So, four tones. We're going to do some examples in a moment after I erase the board. But these, again, will really give a pinyin word their meaning. Now, again, if you haven't uh, been with us for the first six lessons and aren't familiar with pinyin, go back to the beginning. But those of you who have, you are ready. Let's do it. Okay, here are some examples. We are going to be working with sheng tones. Sheng, yi sheng, first tone, er sheng, second tone, san sheng, third tone, and si sheng, fourth tone. Here we go. Got the initials in green. You don't know them? Go back and review. Got the finals in black. Here we go. Fourth tone, ba a ba, ba, ba ao. Third tone, bao, ba ang. What tone? First. All right. Bang to help somebody. Wo I bang help ni. I help you. Ba wo bang ni. Okay. Pa an. What tone? Second. Pan. Pan. Third tone. P. P. Second tone again. Pa, pa. Next one. Ma, yi, ao, meow. Just like a cat. We got fourth tone though. Meow, meow. Again, just say it sharply and uh, put, your, put your voice into it. You cannot screw up the fourth tone. Meow. Next one. Noodles again. Mian. Again, I A N. I know you want to say ian, but it's yen. Mian. Ma, un, mun. Mun, second tone, it means door. Mun, kai mun, open the door. Okay, fa an fan, means rice. Chao fan, fried rice. Fa an fan, fourth tone. Fa u fu, fourth tone, that means father. Fu, dad was ba, so ba is dad, more casual, and fu is father. Okay, feng, as in feng shui again, what does that mean again? Hmm, yes, wind. Feng. Feng, feng, first tone. D I, that's D, fourth tone, D. Da, da, dung, dung, dung means wait, to wait for something. Wa, dung, ni, I wait for you. Wa, 
dung knee. All right, here we go. Second part. G, G, first tone, chicken. G, then jean, 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 jiao, jiao. Means to yell or to call. Wo jiao. Wo jiao ni, I call you. But be careful, first tone is jiao, I teach you. Wo jiao ni, wo jiao ni, different. Qian, second tone though, qian, qian, money, qian, qi, this is lesson, qi, so guess what qi means, seven, qi, qu, qu, it means to go, wo qu, wo qu, I go, qu, fourth tone, zhi, again with the I at the end, it makes that R sound, for jur, chur, and shur. Jur, jur, then jai, jur, ai, third tone, jai. Then chu, first tone, it means pig. Chu, okay. Now, ch, let's differentiate. Chur, u, third tone, chu, chu. That sounds like the word chu, but chu. Chur, just like here. Chur and chur, chur means to eat. So let's practice. Wa, chur, fun. I eat rice. Could also mean I eat a meal, period. But chur, fun. Or wa, chur, mian. I eat noodles. We're going to get into all this fun stuff with actually speaking sentences very soon. Cha, cha, tea. Wa, ha, drink, cha. Get into all that later. Cha. Um, and ru. Ru. Fourth tone. Ru. Can mean sun. Ru. Can also mean a day of the week. Ru. 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 Okay. And ro. There's that O U. You gotta make that mouth big, then small. Ro. Ro. It means meat. Wa. I. Chu. Eat. Ro. I eat meat. How about I eat chicken? Wa chi ji ro. I eat chicken meat, literally, but ji ro is chicken. Um, zi wu zu zu to rent something. Be careful. This is zu, and this one is zhu zu. So pig and rent. You might be saying I want to rent an apartment when actually you're saying I want a pig. So be careful. Zhu uh, zu zi zi zi. A Chinese word is called a zi. Zi. So you are learning many zi. Well, not really yet, but you will be. You're getting ready. Zi ang, zang, zang. My garage is very zang, dirty. Zi ang, zang. Now, this is interesting. Si, si, third tone, si means death. Now, this fourth tone, si means number four. So in China, they never put patients at a hospital on the fourth floor. And in fact, in most apartments, the rent for the fourth floor is cheaper because nobody wants to live there. Very superstitious. Hun mi xin. Mi xin is superstitious. But I wasn't, so I took the fourth floor and I got a cheaper apartment. Rock on. Zu, oh, where are we? Si, si, and san. San is number three, actually. So I got si, four, and san, first tone, three. So I got e, one, er. Two and san, three. So um, I think that's good enough for tones. I think you understand how they work. We'll just get to the examples when we get to them, and I'll point out sp specifics about individual words. But this has been lesson seven. In lesson eight, we are going to start speaking Chinese. Can you wait? Me neither. See you then.